They may not tickle everyone's appetite, but insects are a natural part of many creatures' diets. Here in Picardy, in northern France, InnovaFeed is betting on the black soldier fly larvae. The company produces insect protein from them, which it sells to fish farms. They say it helps to prevent overfishing, as currently much fish feed is caught at sea. So that protects fish population. It also reduces CO2 emissions because actually fishing is an energy intensive business. So we also avoid 800 kilos of CO2 emissions as was calculated by a third party. The company also produces insect oil, an alternative source of fats for poultry and pigs. It's got the same properties as palm oil and coconut oil, and both of them, they tend to happen in tropical countries where there's still a lot of primary forest being felled for it. So we essentially avoid that every time you feed poultry or swine with insect oil instead. With the promise of a more sustainable source of protein, using less land, water and energy, InnovaFeed has raised up to 450 million euros, and it's one of several French startups which are growing fast. It's a market that's supported by research in laboratories like this one in the Paris region into the insect's conversion of waste into high quality protein. Their bioconversion is very efficient. 10 kilos of waste becomes one kilo of protein. The protein they produce not only seems to be naturally cleansed of the waste bacteria, but the insect's byproducts are also of interest for plants. Their excrement or frass becomes a very valuable fertilizer for feeding the soil and plants. So it's really a great example of a circular economy. Companies like InnovaFeed have jumped on board this circular economy, but with demand for animal feed vastly outweighing what these startups are able to supply, insects still have a long way to go to recover their place in a more secure and sustainable food chain.